What's up everybody, and welcome back to the channel for another crazy adventure. Today, we're diving headfirst into the beautiful, chaotic, and sometimes surprising world of the Philippines. We're talking stunning beaches, delicious food, and the warmest people you'll ever meet. But hold on, before you book that one-way ticket, we got to keep it real. This video is called 12 Reasons Why the Philippines is Not for Everyone for a Reason. We're about to uncover the nitty-gritty, the good, the bad, and the unexpected, so you can decide if this tropical paradise is the right fit for you. From crazy traffic to wild weather, cultural quirks, and everything in between, get ready to be informed and entertained. Are you guys ready to explore the Philippines with me? Let's do this! All right, guys, first up, let's talk about the weather. I mean, it's the Philippines, right? We're talking tropical paradise here. Think sunshine, palm trees, and beaches for days. Sounds amazing, right? But here's the catch. It's hot, like really hot. We're talking scorching sun, high humidity, and temperatures that'll have you sweating through your shirt faster than you can say San Miguel. If you're someone who loves the cold, hates humidity, or just melts in the heat, the Philippines might not be your cup of tea. But hey, if you're like me and love soaking up the sun, then get ready for some serious vitamin D. Just remember to pack your sunscreen, a hat, and maybe even a portable fan, because trust me, you're gonna need it. One of the things that makes the Philippines so unique is its incredible diversity of languages and dialects. This archipelago is home to a rich tapestry of linguistic variety that reflects its complex history and cultural heritage. Seriously, there are over 100 languages spoken throughout the islands, from Tagalog and Cebuano to Ilocano and Hiligaynon. Each region has its own distinct linguistic identity. Now, the good news is that English is widely spoken, especially in tourist areas and big cities. This makes it relatively easy for visitors to navigate and communicate without too much trouble. You'll be able to get by just fine with English in most situations. Whether you're asking for directions, ordering food or shopping, English will be your trusty companion. But if you're venturing off the beaten path, exploring more remote areas, or want to really immerse yourself in the local culture, be prepared for a bit of a language barrier. In these less touristy spots, English might not be as prevalent. Don't worry though, the Filipino people are incredibly friendly and welcoming. They are known for their hospitality and will often go out of their way to help you, even if there's a language gap. Even if you don't speak the language, a smile, some basic phrases, and a whole lot of hand gestures will go a long way. Learning a few key phrases like salamat, thank you, or magandang umaga, good morning, can make a big difference. And hey, it's all part of the adventure, right? Embracing these moments of miscommunication can lead to some of the most memorable and heartwarming experiences of your trip. Stick around for reason number three, where things get a little crazy. We'll dive into the vibrant festivals and street scenes that make the Philippines an unforgettable destination. Okay, guys, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the jeepney and the traffic jam. Traffic in the Philippines, especially in major cities like Manila, is legendary. And I'm not talking about your average rush hour traffic jam. We're talking about a symphony of honking horns, weaving scooters and buses packed tighter than a can of sardines. It's an experience, to say the least. If you're someone who gets impatient easily or hates being stuck in traffic, this might be a deal breaker for you. But hey, there's a silver lining. The traffic is a great opportunity to people watch, soak up the city vibes, and maybe even learn some new Tagalog curse words from the frustrated drivers around you. Just kidding, maybe not. But seriously, be prepared to embrace the chaos and go with the flow. Up next, we're diving into the healthcare system, so stay tuned. All right, let's talk about healthcare in the Philippines. Now, the good news is that healthcare here is generally very affordable, especially compared to Western countries. You can find quality doctors, specialists, and hospitals without breaking the bank. However, the healthcare system here is a bit of a mixed bag. While you can find excellent medical care in major cities, Rural areas may have more limited resources and facilities. It's important to do your research, have travel insurance, and be prepared for any eventuality. Overall, the healthcare system in the Philippines is a work in progress, but it's definitely something to keep in mind when planning your trip. Don't worry, we'll be right back after this quick break to talk about the cost of living in the Philippines. Stay tuned. One of the biggest draws for many expats and travelers to the Philippines is the incredibly affordable cost of living. Seriously, you can stretch your budget a lot further here than in many other parts of the world. From rent and utilities to food and transportation, your money will go a long way, especially if you're coming from a country with a higher cost of living. 
Imagine renting a comfortable apartment in a bustling city or a serene coastal town for a fraction of what you would pay back home. Utilities like electricity, water and internet are also quite affordable, making it easier to manage your monthly expenses. Of course, the cost of living will vary depending on your lifestyle, where you choose to live and your spending habits. But overall, the Philippines is a very budget-friendly destination. Whether you're a backpacker on a shoestring budget or a digital nomad looking for affordable luxury, the Philippines has something for everyone. You can enjoy delicious meals at local eateries without breaking the bank. And there are plenty of budget-friendly activities to keep you entertained. From exploring vibrant street markets to indulging in the rich culture and history, there's always something to do that won't cost you a fortune. Up next, we're talking about Mother Nature. And let's just say she can be a little unpredictable here in the Philippines. The country is known for its stunning natural landscapes, from lush mountains to pristine beaches. However, it's also prone to tropical storms and typhoons, which can sometimes disrupt daily life. But don't let that deter you. The beauty and charm of the Philippines far outweigh these occasional inconveniences. OK, guys, let's talk about the other large elephant in the room, or should I say the typhoon in the Pacific Ocean. The Philippines sits right on the Pacific Ring of Fire, which means it's prone to natural disasters like typhoons, earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. Now, don't let this scare you off. The Philippines has a robust disaster preparedness system and locals are used to dealing with these events. However, it's essential to be aware of the risks, stay informed about weather updates and have a plan in case of an emergency. Remember, safety first. And hey, if you do experience a typhoon, just think of it as an adventure. Just kidding, but seriously, stay safe out there. Up next, we're diving into the fascinating world of Filipino culture. You won't want to miss this. The Philippines has a rich and vibrant culture shaped by centuries of history, tradition and influences from Spain, America and other Southeast Asian countries. While Filipinos are known for their warmth, hospitality and infectious smiles, there might be some cultural differences that take some getting used to. From the importance of family and respect for elders to the concept of Filipino time, which can be a little more relaxed than what you're used to, be prepared to embrace the differences and go with the flow. Remember, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, or when in the Philippines, do as the Filipinos do. Up next, we're talking about the bane of every digital nomad's existence, internet speed. OK, let's talk about the internet in the Philippines. Now, in major cities and tourist areas, you'll find decent internet speeds and connectivity. However, if you're planning to work remotely, rely heavily on the internet, or just like to stream movies without buffering, you might face some challenges. Internet speeds can be inconsistent, especially in more rural areas, and power outages can happen, which can be frustrating. But hey, there's always the option of finding a cosy coffee shop with good Wi-Fi, or embracing the opportunity to disconnect for a bit and enjoy the beauty around you. Just be prepared to be patient, flexible, and maybe download your Netflix shows in advance, just in case. Up next, we're getting a little political, so buckle up. Like any country, the Philippines has its own political landscape, and it's a topic that can evoke strong opinions. While we won't delve into the specifics here, it's essential to be aware of the current political climate and how it might impact your travels. From protests and rallies to changes in policies and regulations, it's always a good idea to stay informed and be respectful of local customs and sensitivities. Remember, you're a visitor in their country, and it's essential to be mindful of that. Up next, we're taking a ride on the wild side public transportation. All right, guys, get ready for an adventure because public transportation in the Philippines is an experience you won't soon forget. From the iconic jeepneys to tricycles, buses, and even boats, there are plenty of ways to get around, and it's all part of the fun. Just be prepared for a bit of a learning curve as routes and fares can be confusing at first. And don't forget to embrace the chaos, the crowds, and the occasional unexpected detour. It's all part of the adventure. Up next, we're talking about shopping and the availability of goods in the Philippines. Stay tuned. When it comes to shopping in the Philippines, you'll find a mix of modern malls, local markets, and everything in between. While major cities offer a wide variety of goods and international brands, you might find that certain items, especially specialty products or imported goods, are harder to come by or more expensive. It's all about adapting to the local availability and embracing the opportunity to try new things. And hey, who knows, you might just discover your new favorite snack or local brand. Up next, we're talking about the wildlife in the Philippines, and let's just say it's not all cute and cuddly. The Philippines is home to a diverse range of wildlife, 
from adorable tarsiers to majestic eagles. While encountering these creatures in their natural habitat can be an incredible experience, it's essential to remember that wild animals can be unpredictable. Always admire them from a safe distance, never attempt to touch or feed them, and be aware of your surroundings. And hey, if you're lucky, you might even spot a whale shark or a sea turtle while you're here. Just remember to respect their space and let them be wild and free. That wraps up our 12 reasons why the Philippines might not be for everyone. So there you have it, guys. 12 reasons why the Philippines might not be for everyone. From the intense heat and traffic to the cultural differences and potential for natural disasters, this beautiful country definitely comes with its own set of challenges. But hey, for those who are up for an adventure, embrace the unexpected and are willing to step outside their comfort zone, the Philippines offers an incredibly rewarding experience. With its stunning natural beauty, warm hospitality and delicious food, the Philippines has a way of capturing the hearts of those who dare to explore it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more travel adventures, and let me know in the comments below if you'd ever consider visiting the Philippines. Until next time, keep exploring.